Hello everyone! Welcome back for another painting video. Thank you for being here. I finally am going to use pearl yellow. <laughs> I had someone comment on my last video and they said, why don't you ever use pearl yellow? And I thought, I never mixed it up. I knew that I had it. So I went searching and I have a whole box of pearl paints that I purchased months ago and I found it in there. It's gonna come out like this really pretty gold color almost. And I'm excited. So with the last ring pour, swipe, puddle pour that I did with the pearl colors, I really loved the effect of just, um, kind of wrecking the puddles themselves. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna use the really thin, fine stick instead of the head scratcher that I normally use. And I'm gonna see how this one turns out. Let's paint. All right, so I'm gonna start with just black in the center here. And I'm gonna stretch that out a little bit. Now you don't need too much black in the center because I'm going to puddle the colors. So I'm just going to stretch this part out a little bit and then I can always add more. But I think that the puddles will kind of push the black paint to the sides. I may do, I may need a little more, but I'm going to go ahead and pour these first. I'm going to start with the yellow because I want that to be a big portion of this one. Give it its time to shine. All right, so I just, ooh, I have a hair. I have a hair. All right, it was my own, it was my own. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start. I just mixed this up so I'm sure it has some air bubbles in it. And exciting news, I have two new additions to my family. I have two new cats. One of them is a Sphinx uh, cat and the other is a Calico male. Their names are Lucy and Jack. So maybe in one of the videos you'll get to see them. I have to keep them out of my studio because they will, I'll have paw prints everywhere. I'm sure some of you out there have experienced that as well, but I am so excited, but I've been spending a lot of my time with them. So I'm happy that I could come out and paint today. All right. So I didn't even look. Okay, this is blue. I saw it as it was coming out. I want to save enough room for my other colors. Oh, I think that's good. I think that's good. I've been loving how the red turns out in these pearl paints. It's interference type colors. Oh, so gorgeous. I like this polka dot <laughs> effect. Oh, I just dropped, what color is this? Red, I dropped red into, I think that's blue. I can kind of see it bleeding around the edges. I don't have any room for my purple, y'all. Uh-oh, does this one just go without purple? I can't do that. I can't do that. Purple would be so sad. Where am I gonna put it though? Oi, oi, oi. I did not think through this pattern. It's okay, they're all gonna get swiped together in the end. It's tough to tell where these are as well. Like what colors are what? I could be putting all the purples beside each other. It's really tough to see on camera but you can see like that's green, that's blue, that's blue, that's violet. The red is the difficult one. All right, let me give it a torch. And now 
maybe I'll just do, just to help it glide a little bit, I'll do just a little bit more black around the edges. Okay, maybe a little bit over here. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to come through with that pattern. Do I want to do that pattern all the way through is my question. Ooh, that was hard to turn the corner this way. Okay, I got it there. Now it's all going towards the center. Now I think I'm going to come back through. Ooh, that was difficult. Now, do I want to swipe? Maybe I'll swipe this way for this section. And then maybe. Through there, I liked that last. I don't know, maybe this is too much, but no, I think I like that. I think that I think that's good. Oh, I'm excited to see what this one. These are tough. Because you have to wait till it dries most times to actually see exactly what it's gonna look like. On the ring pour, puddle pour one that I did. When I stretched it out, I thought, mm, I don't like that center, but I forgot that it was purple and it was really beautiful. So, okay, I'm gonna stretch this one out. I'm gonna put on my gloves. I can see the green, the purple. I'm really excited to see how this yellow dries. I get so excited about techniques that sometimes I forget to come back to them or use other colors or, all right. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go to this end first because I felt like that was gonna be the hardest to cover. And this is gonna be a full design on the canvas. And yep, I did have enough paint. I love that there are little pops of the black that stayed through here. I'm really hoping I didn't tilt off all my yellow. This is gonna be a quick and simple video because I'm done. And I love it. I like that I did a couple of twists and turns in different ways because I almost wish I'd done it over here because it created this really cool twisting pattern through there. I have paint all over me. And I have on gloves. <laughs> oh, one of my, one of my viewers um, said that she found the gloves that go all the way up your elbows. And I definitely probably need to buy a pair of those. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna get, I, I'm really debating stretching this end, but I'm gonna leave it because it's got a really pretty diagonal feel to it so that if it's hung long ways, yeah. I'm gonna fix up my sides and then I'll show you what this one looks like. You can already see the color starting to develop. You can see the purples and the blues and the greens. That's red right there. I'm assuming the color that still looks white is yellow. But let me start over here in the corner. This swirl pattern. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's just so intricate. I love it. I'm really glad I didn't tilt any further because I actually love how it opened up here on this side, but kind of stayed in tighter twists through there. 
almost reminds me of like Rapunzel's hair. <laughs> I don't know why. Don't ask me why these things come into my mind. But yeah, let's see how this one dries. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Wow, oh wow, am I pleased with this. I was missing the yellow the whole time, I feel like. So now I'm going to have to go back and do some of these other techniques that I do with the pearl paints with this yellow. It's not quite gold, if you see. It's maybe like a light antique gold, but it is so pretty. I love this design and how awesome how these colors show up. I love the twisting parts through here. I love that it's got like a big chunky part there. And I had said that it would hang long ways, but now I don't know long ways, but or horizontal, vertical or horizontal, because they're both really pretty. But I am loving the pops of the yellow and I had my color spot on this time. So I knew that the red was in the center. I could tell where the blue, the green and the violet were and the yellow was the part in the end of the video that was still light. But I am so happy with this. I hope that you like this. I think I've been debating which technique to go large again. And I think this is gonna be it. I think I'm gonna do this on a three foot by three foot canvas with this design. All right, thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye. You ready to come paint with mommy? You ready to come paint? Oh, oh my goodness, Jack. <laughs> they love my aprons. They're little painting kitties. Come on, Jack. Come on. Come on. There you go, buddy. He's so tiny he can't even get up there yet. But they love each other already. I don't know where my other painting shoe is. <laughs> you guys, you want to come paint? That ain't going to happen, huh? Look at them on my apron. <laughs> Jack, why do you make fun of your sister? Oh my gosh. <laughs> but that's Jack and Lucy. Lucy! Cute little cats. <laughs>